Hello YouTube audience. I'm going to try, attempt to repair this 13 foot long three piece surf fishing rod. Recently moved and in the process of moving somehow this got broken here. I'm a little reluctant to move it too much because it's only kind of hanging on by a thread here. But I have no idea. It must have taken a lot of force to break this. As you can see, it's definitely loose. So we're going to try to repair this and also one of the uh, I guess it's nylon or whatever these inserts are, plastic is missing also. We'll see what we'll do about that but the, the, this is going to be the big repair port right here as you can see. So we're going to start on that. I have a few ideas. Let's hope it works. Okay, the first step here is Okay, this is where it's broken all around here. So I roughed it up with some uh, sandpaper all around. So that's step one. And next, using some rubbing alcohol, I went around and I cleaned all the dust off from sanding. So in order to keep the uh, rod in a relatively straight alignment, what I did, as you could see, I got two straight edges with rubber bands, and I put them on, on here to hold the rod as straight as possible. Okay, what we're going to do next is apply some super glue, and then once we get that onto a small portion, we're going to tap on some baking soda right in this area here, make a super strong joint. Okay. Got some of the super glue and the baking soda applied, and I apply the baking soda. I never use my fingers because if you get this stuff on your fingers, it's never coming off. This creates, like I said, a super hard bond. This is, I think they used to use this combination way back when to repair uh, in the field, repair helicopter blades. So I just go like this and I dump it on here, as you can see here. I'll get off the excess. I'm not worried about the way it looks right now. Okay, I, re I removed the uh, excess baking soda and the uh, straight edges, and that's what it looks like right now. This is this is a, a strong joint, just with that little bit. I'm going to continue and go around the whole uh, outside here, but just this little bit is is all I need to keep it keep it straight and secure. All right, application of super glue and the baking soda is now complete. Let me point out, I switched over to a plastic knife because I inadvertently touched the metal knife, the good kitchen metal knife, onto this. And it took me a little while to get it scraped off with another knife. I did it, responded rather quickly, but then I switched over to plastic. Used up about one and a half tubes or maybe a little bit more of the super glue. But uh, this is it here, and this is, look, I'll, I'll hold it up on this end. There, there's the one in there, and as you could see, this thing is solid as a rock right now. But I'm not uh, through here. I want to uh, make this even a better joint. The next step is to calculate approximately how deep the uh, one of the pieces fits into the other piece. Okay, that's the repaired part, and this is going to drop down inside there about to this point. I left a little extra because what we're going to do is we're going to take this wooden rod, this wooden rod, and that's going to be dropped inside there. That will be the next part. Okay, now if you hold this wooden rod on the floor end to end it comes right to there however dropping it inside it doesn't go to the very end over here it won't it won't drop to the very end of course so that's what this mark is so what we want to do is leave enough room so that let's see we want to come somewhere around here and I would say that will allow for expansion of some of the glue. 
that's kind of estimating here. And this, again, it should be okay because this is where the joint is and it's far away enough from there. So we'll get some good stability from here to here with this much of the, uh, the wooden rod in there. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna sand the rod too because this is gonna be glued in place inside there using original glue, Gorilla Glue since it has expansion qualities, characteristics. So we'll do a little sanding now. So just a little recap here. This here is how far down this piece sets inside this piece. And so I loved a little extra here. And so I figure, I figure we'll probably cut off about seven and a half to eight inches and we should be in good shape cut off of the wooden rod that is now since that rod is going to be glued in place i want to be really careful not to get any glue up in this portion because that's where this slides in so to help protect it I took this toilet paper roll and I, and I cut it like this and I'm gonna go like this and then I'm gonna stick it in there and uh, use some tape so it doesn't <laughs> slip all the way in there and, and then that's the end of the project so we'll give this a try okay using some tape which I inserted a little bit into the cardboard tube and attach it to the outside here that's gonna be our protection when we when we uh, have it up like this Oops. And then we've got the Gorilla Glue we're going to drip inside there. Okay, he used probably about, as you can see this was a new bottle, probably, I don't know, what, maybe a, not a half, maybe a third of the bottle. And it's really just a, a wild guess as to how much was the right amount to drip in there. But uh, we'll see how it dries. and. Hopefully it doesn't expand all the way up to the top, in which case if that happens, I guess we're getting a new rod. But uh, just trying to salvage this one here. So we'll, we'll see what happens. It's uh, definitely, uh, you can't see it, but the wooden rod's in there. Comes up to, a, comes up to about here, I think, right about there. And uh, definitely adds weight to it, I can tell you that for sure. But uh, I don't mind, I don't, I don't use it a lot. But uh, we'll see what happens here. Little little change in plans here. I decided to attach, as this glue is drying with the, onto the rod in here, I decided to attach the second part, the second piece. And the reason I decided to do that was if this glue, which expands, was to expand up into this top portion, I would never get this second second piece on. So this way, I mean, if it expands, it's, it'll be fixed in place forever, but that's okay. At least the rod will still be usable. The other thing is when you take that protective uh, cardboard or whatever you use out of here, I let it, because glue did get on the inside, the idea of that cardboard, I let it uh, stay there for a while. And then when I pulled it out, I pulled it out rather quickly so that there was no opportunity for it to um, to dry. Now, after applying the uh, the mixture of the super glue, and then going around it slowly, a little piece at a time, and then uh, gently putting on some baking soda, it forms a super super hard bond. And then, as you can see, what I did was. I simply masked, masked off on each end and I spray painted it black. It actually looks like it's part of the rod finish. It looks all original. So this, this came out really well. It's solid as a rock. So there you go. The new insert has been securely epoxied in place. Now what I did was, once I had that Delicately centered, delicately centered. I just used like two drops of uh, super glue just to hold it in place uh, and let that dry. And then what I did was 
I said, oh, what the heck? And I went and I put a thin bead of the super glue all around the insert. Once that dried, then I put the heavier um, epoxy around there. And it's smooth, it's, it's great, great. And the inserts, which I bought on eBay, ceramic inserts, they come in sizes. You can see the different sizes. I forget which one this one was. Hmm, might have been a 30 or 40, I think, size. I don't recollect. But anyway, they were like, a, that's what I paid like 14 bucks for. But, and some, uh, some Gorilla Glue. And uh, that was, you know, that was pretty much it. So I was able to salvage this, uh, this rod and uh, save me like paying 150 bucks for a new rod. So I hope there's some valuable information for other people out there. Take care and have a great day, folks.